Hello everyone, I know you have been waiting for this for a long time, so here it is another go to tutorial. You must have played a game which has a cutscene created by moving the camera. So in this video I will show you how easy it is to create a cutscene just by moving the camera around your level and with no coding required. So to save some time I have already created a scene of control node, then we have a color rec node for the background and a tile map which I used to create these walls. Now the first thing you need to think of is from where you want to move the camera. Once you decided that, then we will add a path to the node to the scene and under it add a path follow node which will move along the path. Now select the path to the node and on the top bar you will see many icons. Right now we need to click on this add point icon. This will add a point by which we will create the path. So depending on where you want to move the camera, left click to add a point and then click again at a different position and it will create a line. Now keep extending this line and your path follow node will move on this path. Now once you are done, click on this icon. This will make the sharp edges smooth. So click and hold on the edge point and drag your mouse and you will see two handles coming out of it. You will need to move this handle to make these sharp edges into a smooth curve. Once you are done with smoothing the points, add a camera 2D node under the path follow node. Now make sure the current is turned on. Now click on the path follow node and in the inspector you will see an offset slider and as you move it you will notice the path follow node along with the camera is moving along the path you just created. Also make sure the rotate option is set to false so our camera don't rotate as we move along the path. But you need to change the slider during the game. So in that case we are going to use the one and only the legendary node animation player. So it is actually very simple. First click on the animation player and then create a new animation. Then just put how long you want your cutscene to be. For this demo I will write 6 seconds. Then bring the pointer in the beginning. Here I am gonna leave 1 second of time. So the camera doesn't start moving as we play the game. Then go to the path follow node, set the offset slider to 0 and click on the key icon. This will create a creep frame in the animation timeline. Then move the animation slider at the end. Then go to path follow node again and slide the offset slider to 100. Now again click on the key icon to add a key frame. The camera will move along the path with a linear speed. So when there is a turn it feel a bit unnatural. So move the pointer at the point where the path follow node is in the corner. And add a key frame if there is none. Now if you double click on the first point you will see a curve. So if you want the path follow node to slow down a little bit when it reaches the next key frame. So you make the curve a bit upward. Now if you want to start slowly and then accelerate at the end, then you need to drag the curve down. So in this case, I want it to slow down when it reaches the keyframe at the edge. So I will drag the curve upwards. Then afterward, I want to start slowly and then increase the speed. So I will drag the curve down. So you can see by changing the speed, it look a bit natural and smooth. Nice. Now we will make this movement look like a cutscene by adding black bars at the top and bottom of the screen. For this add a canvas layer node so that it is stay on the top of everything. Then we add a control node and in the layer set it to full rect. Then add a color rect node under the control node. Then increase its size in left, right and top direction. Also don't forget to set its color to black color. Now in the layer section select center top. Now just duplicate the color rect and set its layout to center bottom. Now open the animation player and then select the control node. There you will find a visibility section and under it select modulate and reduce the opacity to 0. Now click on this key icon and create a new keyframe at the beginning. Now I will move the animation slider about 1 second and now I will bring the opacity of the control node back to 100%. And once the animation is finished you will need to hide it again by reducing its transparency or you can uncheck the visibility option and create a new keyframe. But if you are setting the keyframe then make sure you add a keyframe at the start as well where the visibility is turned on. Now if you play the scene you will see the black bar fades in, the camera start moving around the path and in the end it disappear. Well that's all you need to create a cutscene. Now let's see a situation where you have more than one camera in a particular scene. So in this scene I have one camera attached to the player and one camera for the cutscene. So as you know only one camera will be activated at a time. So initially the cutscene camera will be closed and the player camera will be active. And if you don't know how to activate a camera then you can set the current to true and the camera will be activated. So as you can see in the animation player timeline I have also added player's camera and my cutscene camera. So when the animation starts I turn off the player's camera and turn my cutscene camera on. Then the whole cutscene run as usual. And then when the animation finishes I turn the player's camera on again. You can also disable the player input or pause the game until the animation finishes. But I am not going to show how to do that because first of all it's very easy thing and second this is a no coding video. 
Well, that's all for this video. I hope you find something new in this one. And I know I'm making videos very slowly right now. Well, I was a little busy, but I will try to make my best to stay consistent. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.